Is high res snake oil? I gotta get me a snake sometime because I'm not convinced they got oil. This question comes from Bernie in Un Unumclaw, Washington. Sounds very Native American. Hi Paul, at your suggestion, I recently added a pair of rail subs to my Maggie 1.7 speakers. Good move, sir. Those, those rails are great. Along with my speaker stands, it was an amazing addition and transformation. I I'm now considering a new DAC. I've watched numerous YouTube videos telling me I can't hear the difference between 16-bit 44 and 24-bit 192 resolution. So why should I spend the money to get a higher resolving DAC? Well, I know those, those sites. Um, the fact that the people that run those sites can't hear a difference is irrelevant. So what? I was watching some silly thing the other day where some guy had two, uh, two things he was eating and he munched down on this one and then this one was the cheaper brand, ate that one. I can't tell the difference between the two. So what? Who cares? I don't, I mean, the fact that Joe Schmucklefuck over here can't tell the difference between this or that is irrelevant. Maybe they don't have a good enough system. I don't know. Don't let that influence you. And you don't have to have a system like this in order to hear those differences. Your Maggies and Rel subs are more than adequate to tell the difference between a 192.24 and a 44.1. That said, I would not buy a new DAC just for that. Okay, why? Well, the problem is, there's, unless you're getting something from Tidal or streaming, and maybe that's what you intend to do, you're not going to have access to a whole lot of high resolution audio. And even if you did, the difference between 192.24 on most systems and a well-recorded and mastered CD version of the same isn't like night and day. I mean, it really isn't. And, and, and the better the DACs get, the better CDs, and th this is kind of bottoming out here, CDs are getting better and better and better and closer and closer to this, to where I hardly ever listen to high resolution audio anymore. I don't pay a lot of attention to it. Can we hear the difference? Oh God, yeah. Is it worth getting a new DAC? I wouldn't do it for that reason. Now, you've got some good stuff. You need a great DAC because a great DAC can make CDs sound amazing, can make streaming sound amazing. It's absolutely worth the money, but don't do it for that reason. At least, I wouldn't. Hope that helps. Do get a new DAC. It is, I mean, we make some great DACs, and I'm going to point you towards our stuff, but certainly you don't have to. And my best advice, call one of our Hi-Fi specialists. You're, you're, you're in the, <laughs> you're in Washington, which I think is still part of the United States. Call us, 800 PS Audio, and say, hey, this is the DAC I got. I want to try one of your DACs. This is what I can afford. We'll send it to you. Take it home. Play with it for a month. If you like our DAC better, we'll buy your old DAC back from you at full retail. And you get to keep your DAC at your place for a month. Compare the two. If it doesn't, if it isn't worth the extra money, like Paul said, it probably would be, because honestly, I don't know which DAC is, but I'm going to guess that our DAC is going to sound a lot better than what you got. If it doesn't, send our DAC back. We even pay the shipping back. That's kind of hard to beat. So give us a call, 800 PS Audio. Talk to one of our hi-fi specialists and we'll, we'll, we'll get you going. All right, take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.